The storms and all of the rain they brought have moved out for now, but they have left a lot of damage across San Diego County. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen shows us the damage in Ocean Beach, Encinitas, and La Jolla. And she also takes us to Wind and Sea Beach, where surfers say they're surprised at what they're seeing. Ariana? Normally, this cliff and these rocks are covered with sand, but due to the high tides and large surf we had last week, that sand has washed away, making it difficult for surfers to come in and out. Like many surfers at Wind and Sea, Mitch McCullough is having a harder time than usual getting out in the water. Well, as you can see, we got quite a big boulder field I got to make it out through right now, and uh, fortunately, I know a little, a little slot little secret slot I could crawl down. He tells me the surfing community says it's the biggest swell they've seen in at least 20 years. Oh yeah, yeah, this is more more exposed rock than I've seen and I don't think I've ever seen this much, you know, cliff here at Wind and Sea. It's crazy. Oh. The recent storms have also caused damage across San Diego. The Ocean Beach Pier is closed indefinitely after high surf took a toll on the pier's structure. The city is waiting to assess the pier's condition until the storm season has passed. Well, the weather, it's like Ohio weather, except we don't have an ocean. Ken, visiting from Ohio, planned to walk along the children's pool seawall in La Jolla, but it is also closed indefinitely after being open to the public for more than 90 years. A little disappointed, but we'll we'll find somewhere else to go down and snoop around. Its railings are rusting and a section of the steel pipe railing has broken and fallen over. And finally, the stone steps in Encinitas at Moonlight Beach are blocked off for repairs, something that lifeguards tell me hasn't happened in 13 years. Meanwhile, Mitch is happy to still surf at Wind and Sea. He just has to be a little more cautious. If you're not careful, you know, you just you'll just run into a cliff when you're when you're paddling out for sure. As crazy as it is that all the sand has washed away here at Wind and Sea, thanks to the miracle of the ocean, the sand will be back here this summer. Ariana Cohen, CBS 8. have brought in a very, very big adjustment right along the coast. We've been dealing with those large breaking waves, still talking about high surf advisory. That's going to continue all the way until 10 p.m. for tonight. Surf coming down a little bit, so about 5 to 10 feet for today, 4 to 7 by tomorrow. The small craft advisory for boaters has also been extended. Now that's going to go into the early morning hours for Wednesday. We're talking about nonstop storm systems on parade. That's been the case since we started this new year. Wraparound moisture has brought in some showers as well as some mountain snow, but for tonight we're just gearing up for the cold air right behind that area of low pressure as it pushes over the four corners. We are looking at cloudy skies for tomorrow along the coast, starting off the morning with some cloud cover by the afternoon hour, some sunshine, but we do have some showers in the forecast. Not heavy rain, but showers. That looks to return the forecast by the afternoon hours on Thursday, so we will time that out in your complete forecast coming up. Carlo?